Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, probably one of the things that went through your mind is you need expensive equipment or cameras. But for me, the best camera you should start with is the one that you have with you all the time, and that is your smartphone. Now, I've actually produced more than 1,000 videos total with just my smartphones before I actually made the move to a quote-unquote real camera with my Panasonic G85. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get your phone set up and ready to become your entire YouTube studio where you could shoot your videos, edit it, and publish it to YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do whenever you're recording videos is to have some type of external microphone. Now, if you actually want a really good audio, I highly recommend that you get some type of external mic like this Rode Video Mic Pro that's on my camera. Or you can just simply use some earbuds that already have a built-in mic because this is going to be way better than using the microphone built into your smartphone. And at the same time, if you are using some type of external mic, then you can have a lot more control over where the audio is coming from. And at the same time, if you are in a situation where it is windy or you're outside, you could simply put the microphone underneath your shirt and that could block out a lot of the sound. And so that's the very first place that you should start whenever you are shooting videos with your smartphone. And so the two pieces of software that you need at the beginning are AZ Screen Recorder and Nova Launcher. Now the thing is, all of these software and tutorials that I'm doing are on an Android phone. I do not have an Apple iPhone. And so I do not think these software is available on the Apple iPhone. However, if you do find alternatives, you could use those, but this is primarily for people who are using Android. So Nova Launcher, you can download and install the free version but I highly recommend that you get the paid version, which is the prime version, it's about $5. So that way, whatever I'm doing in my tutorials, you'll have the exact same features that I have. And then the second piece of software is AZ Screen Recorder. Now this one is free, and as far as I know, you can do everything that you need to in the free version. Now there is a paid version, but I don't think you actually need that to do the screen recordings that we're gonna be doing in these tutorials. And so those are the two pieces of software that you need to download and install on your Android phone. For fast website hosting and top-notch customer service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service used at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so before we begin the process of recording videos and editing them, let's make sure that your phone is properly set up for two very important apps that you should have downloaded on the previous video. And so the two apps that we're gonna set up is Nova Launcher and AZ Screen Recorder, which is what I'm using right now to actually record this particular video. And so Nova Launcher is a way that you can actually replace your existing launcher. So right now I have a launcher that's on my default phone right now, but I wanna use Nova Launcher because it will allow me to do one main thing, and that is record my phone in landscape mode. So normally whenever you flip your phone over right now, it will stay in portrait mode unless you're watching a YouTube video or something where it would automatically change to landscape. So once you've downloaded Nova Launcher, just go ahead and open it up. And what you need to do is go to look and feel. And here, when it says screen orientation, instead of default, be sure you choose auto rotate, okay? And that's really the only setting that you need to put in here. There's many other settings, but that's just the main one that we are concerned about. Once you do that, if you notice, once I rotate this phone, now it's already turned to landscape. So that's going to be very important if you are doing any type of screen recordings off of your phone. Which leads me to the second app, which is the AZ Screen Recorder. Okay, so on AZ Screen Recorder, Really the only setting that you need to be concerned about right now is the actual resolution. Now unfortunately I can't go into the AZ screen recording settings as I'm actually using right now to record this particular video. But let me show you a screenshot of how it should look like. So here under video resolution, the default is 1280 by 720. So put it up to 1920 by 1080. And for some phones it's able to do more than that resolution as well. So that's the only resolution that you need to set for AZ Screen Recorder and you should be ready to go to actually record off of your phone and also record in landscape mode. 
Okay, now that we have completed the important steps of setting up our phone so that we can record anything on the screen, we can now move over to creating videos, creating thumbnails, doing our video editing, and finally publishing this up to our brand new YouTube channel, all from our phone. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.